Hello there guys and welcome back to Escape from Tarkov. Gonna start off by going in with our scav, which looks like he's got the pistol. We're gonna go straight into factory and see if we can actually escape this time with some loot. That looked like there were a lot of people playing scav. Now the one thing about this game, when it's initially loading the maps in, it does take a little while to do this loading data files, loading the map and all that. Once it's done it the first time, it's pr over pretty quickly to be fair. Okay, sounds up. So we should be going in. I don't know where I am actually. Oh, we're in the back corridor. So the exit we want is over this direction. Hopefully we're not just going to get killed like last time. My sensitivity is through the roof as well for some reason. Might have to change that before the next recording. Oh no, I actually think we're at the other side of the factory thinking about it. Oh, you are joking. He extracted just as I shot him. Okay. What gear have we got? Wow, we got five mags. One of those is now empty. Oh, I hit him. This is the exit I thought. I didn't realise there was a way in down there. Is that a dead guy? Taking the duffel. Got anything in his pockets? Anything in the duffel bag? No. Getting behind him. Oh, hello. We're going to attempt to get this last guy, and then I think we might just back out and just take this gear with us. Oh, there are guys everywhere. Uh, yes, please. I want that. No. <laughs> if we don't get out with this, I'm going to be absolutely furious. Okay, so we have just found body armor, which is pretty much perfect. Helmet and NPGs. 
That is a tri-zip backpack I want to pick up for some reason. Uh, what have I got to do? Have I got to discard this? Yes. <laughs> right, we need to get out of here. After we take this dude's AK. Quick, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. We're badly hurt. That was an NPC. So you can see I can't actually run any quicker. I shot that, didn't I? Uh, my cat's just got in front of my screen. Why am I... So let me extract. I'm bleeding. I've got no meds. I could end up losing all this. This is amazing gear to have. Oh, come on. Uh. I'm going to die. So wait, let me extract. We have to try and get to the, the proper exit, and I think we're going to bleed out. I'm being reckless now, I'm just literally going to have to push for it. <laughs> oh, let's go up. I don't think you can get through that bottom door. Come on, we can do it. Now the bad thing is, there could be a player, there's a crate that we could open, but... Oh my god, it's getting worse. My left leg's absolutely shot. My guy's out of breath. Two more doors to go. <laughs> right, so that was a player, he was camping the exit point. He was on my left, I think, behind that crate. I should have checked, but never mind. And we found... Does it say I killed anyone? No. And we got another minute until we can go back in with them. All right, what we're going to do this time is I'm just going to take the PMC, which is my main character but I'm not going to take any gear in with me. 
I'm basically going to do what I did then, which is hope I can find gear. I don't know why I couldn't escape from that other door though, because it came up the first time. Whoa. Okay, let's just try it. Now one hatchet blow to the head will kill someone. Uh, I don't know if it'll kill them if they've got a helmet on, I'm not sure. Exploration bonus already. is an NPC. That's a player firing that erratic. Let's see if we can find somewhere else to go. there that you can go through if you've got the right key. Now what I'm doing with this, this is my gamma container, so even if I get killed now, I do take that with me. So even if, you know, it doesn't matter now. So that's cigarettes, that right one though. Screen, get down, dude. Um, I do kind of want to take that mag, but we'll go without it for the minute. Now, sometimes there's MPGs in here. hoping someone's going to try and push. What are you saying on the let down? Is 
it was saying I was let down, like I couldn't run for a second. Oh well. Combat did seven thousand damage. I only hit him once though. Okay, that's fine, because what we've got now, if we go to my character. We can keep all that. So I think we'll do one more run. Um, we'll keep to the factories for the minute. A lot less people queuing for it as well. But that was an NPC. That w a player wouldn't have missed <laughs> that many times. But at least the NPCs have been turned down a bit because they used to be able to hit you from anywhere. If they spotted you, they would kill you straight away. Oh no, we're in the underground passage. Oh, good shot. I nearly caught him then. That was so close. That was close. I knew I was right on the downswing when he hit me then. But again, got myself something else I can sell. So let's go to the trade in and see if we can get rid of some of this. Okay, once it refreshes, there we go. So he wants... I'm not selling those. I bought these on purpose. Factory exit key means I can get to the other doors in the factory. Uh, strike cigarettes, don't want them. I want to keep the Marlboro ones. Because that's what you can trade here for the first aid kit you want. And all you do is you put that in your gamma case. So you know you're never going to drop it. I might keep the dust cover and see if I can put it on an AK. I know where there is one in... The uh, the maps, 30 round AK 74. Yeah, I'll keep that. Keep the Riz mount. We'll get rid of the matches. He doesn't want that. So it's only 28. Let's see whether anyone else will take this. No, she won't. And nor he. Okay, we'll we'll put that there for now. Got the dust cover. Got a couple of mags. Right. Character, let's put the factory key in our gamma case. So yes, we've lost a slot, but we're not going to lose that. But what it does mean is we've got another backup exit. Let's go straight in again. But that guy with the shotgun had me. That was a, uh, a good shot by him. Fair play to us, but being that close with the shotgun, I should have hoped he did kill me. As you see, the loading times are so much better now as well. Here we go, straight in. isn't a bad spot to start, provided no one comes up these stairs straight away. But it's not the best place to start when all you've got is the hatchet, so I think we might go a little bit gung-ho and just go straight out the door. So there'll be players in those tunnels. Now this is the thing, because I have come in as proper player, we would have all started in the server at the same time. Oh, he did not reach, get a shotgun through the gap in that door. You are kidding me. I was waiting for him to come through, I was going to try and get him with the knife. 
No, I'm not taking that. I'm going again. He shouldn't have been able to hit me with through that gap. But this game is brutal. Absolutely brutal. Waiting for all the players, come on. There's still a group of people waiting to get in, so we should find a group. Now there is an actual grouping system on this game where you can team up with players, but I don't think it turns friendly fire or anything off, and you do still get scattered, so you've just got to hope that you can find each other. Hoping the player's gonna come out from there. Yeah, he's in there. Push myself back so I can't get shot from there. Come on, buddy, you're going to come my way. And as you can see, I've got my factory key, so there is actually an exit out this door. I want to think he's fighting NPCs. See if we can find out what he's doing. And one thing I've done on this game once before is I've actually, it was on one of the bigger maps where there's a lot of greenery, a lot of places to hide. I've actually found a nice spot to hide out. Waited for the players to go through, kill a few NPCs. Yeah, there's a body down there. Let's just risk it. Oh no, it's not a body, it's just a rubble. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this game is brutal. So that would have been another player. He was wearing this, uh, this uh, gear. <sighs> oh dear. Anyway guys, I'll leave it that on this one. Um, what I will try quickly out of the video is I will check to see whether or not this offline mode is still enabled. Because I know they were thinking of taking this out. I'll give it a try. Uh, if it does work and I don't lose all my gear if I get killed by an NPC, what I'll do is I'll gear myself up by buying all like I'll buy an M4 and a site and stuff like that. And then I will switch it to offline mode and I can just go through the woods, the factory and the customs and show you what the maps like that are available right now. Alright then guys, so I'll leave it at that. If you enjoyed it, like, comment, subscribe, I'll do some more Escape from Tarkov videos in the future. Take it easy. See you later.